Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big time player of the month SBC that might be incoming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team in the next week. Yes, that is a potential Mbappe player of the month. So today in this video, I wanna take a look at what this SBC could look like, when it could be coming out, how much it might cost, how high rated the card might be, and that sort of stuff, because this is a big time SBC, especially as we're in a promo right now with upgrade packs. Uh, that are out the 80 plus player picks that they dropped yesterday a lot of people are doing those so maybe it's time to start thinking about saving some of your fodder that you might get and your SBC cards that you might get to do this potential player of the month of Bape if he were to win the award which I think it's looking very likely that he could so we're going to talk about that but also cover the current foot birthday market content that we'll see today on Tuesday Probably seeing some foot birthday card prices drop on the market today because of some pack supply with the UCL marquee matchup. So I would expect some of the foot birthday cards to drop on the market today. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And of course, actually talk about yesterday a bit as well. I had one of my biggest days of making coins from flipping cards almost ever. 1.5 million coins netted from all of these flips yesterday. I bought and sold a bunch of cards. Really nice rise after weekend league rewards on these Oda guards, a ton of icon moments flips, including this big boy Pushkas that we flipped. So it was an incredible day for me yesterday, timed everything almost perfectly and made almost a mil and a half. So we'll talk about that as well, um, along with just the foot birthday market in general. So if you're excited for a player of the month in Bape, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about this SBC, right? Because this, this would be the biggest player of the month SBC that we have had in the year of FIFA 22. We had an Mbappe player of the month last year. Everybody remembers, right? The dynamic of Mbappe, right? The basketball shooting almost Mbappe here. But this month, he is in the voting for February. And just as legendary as this player of the month SPC was, even though it was a left wing, this Mbappe this year would be even better and higher rated because of course right now the best Mbappe that we have is a 93 in form that is currently in packs. So that means that a player of the month Mbappe would be 94 rated. Now the voting just opened yesterday on Monday. So I would imagine that this voting would stay open throughout this week and we would see an Mbappe SBC if he does win next week probably you know we're probably like seven eight you know maybe even like nine ten days out from this next wednesday or thursday potentially could be when this sbc uh does come out if you want to vote i'll leave the link to this website down in the description now how likely is mbappe to win right i voted for him of course and it you know it's not just a popularity contest yes there's a fan vote but stats really play into a big factor on this and if you take a look in the month of february mbappe had four goals one assist and psg one um three out of their four games they lost one game actually no i'm wrong no yes i'm right they, never mind they lost three to one so uh they won three they went three and one on the month and mbappe had four goals one assist terrier had three goals one assist right so he has less goal contributions and Milik had four goals but um he, his team did not win as many games as psg did during the month. So Mbappe has the best team record out of these three guys. He has the most goal contributions and he's probably going to win the popularity of the fan vote. It seems very likely that Mbappe will win this award. It seems almost like certain that he would win it. League One Player of the Month before has been a bit sus. We've seen Neymar, we've seen Ben Yedder in the voting before and somehow they end up losing. But it seems pretty likely that Mbappe would win this award and get an SBC next week so we can you know almost count this as it's like it, it's, it's gonna happen it's still you know there's a element of risk in there but we would be expecting a 94 rated player of the month Mbappe probably next week now how much would this cost you know this year the only the thing about big time player of the month is you think about like the player of the month Cristiano Ronaldo that we had um early at the start of the game this year this card was this SBC was very overpriced 2.5 million coins like right at the start of the game for a very small plus one upgrade on this Ronaldo, it was not a very good value SBC. You see all the downvotes here, right? Um, another big player the one that we had was Salah. So for these top tier elite, big high rated SBCs, they're really making them expensive this year. Um, but hopefully what they do with this Mbappe is it's going to be a 94. It will not upgrade the headliner. Player of the Month do not upgrade headliners or live cards, um, but it will be a 94 rated Player of the Month. Hopefully it's a striker central card. I think most people would like that. 
I would imagine that he would get like 91 shooting, maybe plus two on the passing would be nice. So 86 passing, 95 dribble, 82 physical. I think somewhere a, a safe guess is around 2.5 million coins. 2.5, 2.75 mil, maybe at the very most, 3 million coins for a 94 Mbappe player of the month. Just depends on where EA want to price that SBC at. If you want to start to prepare and save fodder for that, there's not a ton of great SBCs that are even out right now to do, right? I would say no way. I would stay away from a, a mid-icon player pick from the prime icon upgrade. All those that I've seen have not been good. If you want to hold your fodder and not do those and maybe look towards an SBC like this, that would be a way better use of your SBC cards, in my opinion. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this card. Probably next Wednesday, Thursday, around that time frame, probably about 2.5 to maybe 3 million coins, hopefully less. Um, but I just want to kind of spread the word and talk about the potential of this SBC coming because I think that might impact the price of this Mbappe a little bit as this card heads out of packs. And even the gold card, the gold Mbappe has been down a decent amount. If this SBC is priced somewhat well, which I don't expect it'll be super affordable, but this might hurt some of the other Mbappe cards on the game. Um, as you know, it kind of happened last year when Mbappe's 92 was dropped. That kind of hurt some of the other Mbappe cards, like the uh, record breaker that he had, a couple of the man of the matches that he had up to that point, and even his gold card as people were getting rid of this base item that they've maybe used for so long and to craft away at an SBC that would be out for like 30 days, right? Player of the months are out for a long time and get that upgraded version. So that's kind of all that we had to talk about with that Mbappe player of the month. Just know that it's coming, potentially coming next week would be the time frame, in my opinion, that we would expect to see that SBC dropping inside of the game. So that's all about the Mbappe card for right now, but let's move into the current state of the market and talk about today on Tuesday in FIFA 22. Uh, you know, yesterday content wise, it was it was nice to get the player picks. They were not 81 plus, and we had the Timber SBC, which made a lot of area divisi content go sky high. We'll take a look at that in a second as well. But with this 80 plus player pick dropping, uh, you actually saw a lot of the full birthday cards have a slight dip in price yesterday. Now a lot of them went up after that weekend league rewards time frame. Uh, you saw a lot of these prices go up. Like Jack Grealish was 110k before weekend league rewards. He went up to like 135, almost 140,000 coins. He went back down to 120, and now he's back up kind of in the nighttime, rare again, heading into Tuesday. If you had any of these cards that you were maybe trying out, um, maybe even like some of these higher tier cards, like Allen for birthday, was um, he was 730,000 coins yesterday. Now he's 790, almost 800. I would honestly look into actually selling some of these cards. I sold Odegaard's yesterday um, under 600,000 coins. And right now, Odegaard is over 600K. Odegaard, how much? 620 on the market. I would probably look to take the cash on any of these cards if you have them. Because we are going to be getting UCL marquee matchups today, which is going to supply the market with tradable pack supply. Because that's what these marquee matchups do, right? And evidently... Uh, this is a leak from Foot Sheriff. We are going to be getting the a um, UCL marquee matchups from Liverpool, Inter, and Real Madrid PSG. Those are going to be the two games featured in the UEFA marquee matchups SBC set today. So just be a little bit careful because that's going to bring pack supply on the market. So what's that going to do? Drop some of these full birthday cards. Drop probably uh, the team of the week a little bit that is in packs and create some windows of supply on the market for those items. So if you have some of these, uh, maybe you look to get out of those before that pack supply could potentially uh, come out. Now, other things that we might see today on the game besides that, because you're like, Nate, if they're just dropping UEFA marquee matchups, that's not going to be a very hype day. Uh, I think we're still continuing with this trend of daily player SBCs. Again, like I said, we had Timber yesterday, who his card does look really, it looks decent, Hard to link, but EA made this SBC almost irresistible yesterday because it's only an 84 rated squad. This is, in my opinion, the best foot birthday player SBC that we have had. It's right up there with Mkhitaryan, in my opinion. Uh, this Timber card is just so cheap. A lot of Air Divisi cards have gone up in price like crazy, uh, like Grav and Birch and all those items um, because everybody, there, there was really not a ton to do yesterday except for do the 80 plus player picks and craft this Timber SBC alongside that so we've looked at like a Declan Rice potentially that could be a player that we get today maybe they don't even drop 
uh, foot birthday special card today. But one thing that we've often seen on Tuesdays as well is like a gamble pack, right? You know, like we had the 84 plus player pick. We had the 85 times three, I believe a week ago on Tuesday. So I would, I would maybe expect to see some other sort of like gamble or upgrade pack SBC um, released as a part of today's content as well. That could be something that you go out and see um, potentially have on the game today, of course, with foot birthdays and packs. People would be very, very quick to do an upgrade SBC like that with the potential of packing all of these same insane cards that are in packs right now. So let's talk about the market a little bit more as well. And how in the world did I make that many coins yesterday? Well, really what it boiled down to was we talked in yesterday's video about a rewards market rise. Now I bought a bunch of Odegaards last night before rewards uh, at like 475 to 485. And the sell time, I was I actually sold a little bit early, right? I was selling these for like 560 to 590,000 coins with some at like 560, um, 550, 560, and 570 all in there. Now, Odegaard went all the way up to like 600K. This, this guy has so much hype at the moment and he's back up to 600K right now. But yesterday he was down here. I actually bought him late Sunday night my time. I bought him right in here at like 484. He then exploded to 600. Uh, I kind of sold a few of mine like right in here as he was starting to dip down. There was a lot of other people that invested in this card as well. Um, so a lot of people were just trying to sell him before the content drop yesterday on Monday. Um, so this card had basically a 100,000 coin rise um, before tax. And that's why that's where a lot of my coins came from, like almost 600K from buying 11 or 12 of these Odegaards. Uh, it was where I made a lot of coins. That was a huge chunk of the coins that I made yesterday, but it was the whole market in general. The foot birthdays did really, really well. Uh, the Tony Cruz went from like 700 K flat all the way to, yeah, he was 699, I believe 697 on the PlayStation. He went all the way back up to 750. Didn't have his craziest swings on the Xbox. Uh, as you can see here that he's he's back up a bit on Xbox, but a lot of these swings happen on PlayStation for some of the, for some of these cards, uh, Allen as well went from low 700s, 718 all the way up to 780 where he is now. So a lot of these foot birthdays rose up very nicely with people getting their weekend league rewards, going out and buying some cards. So that was a really easy place to make coins on the market yesterday. Now, of course, with the timber card dropping as well, 3,000 upvotes, only 50k to do this SBC five star skills. Yeah, the card's not that incredible, right? And it is very hard to link, but he's a really, really good card. And that's why you see some of these items like the Graven Birch. This guy was a million coins at one point. Take a look at his graph, right? So he went from 780K all the way up to basically a million coins where he was selling at for just a hot second. And then this Graven Birch card as well, this guy was actually really invested in uh, so people knew that the Timber SBC was coming. They bought his card up from like 21K to 30,000 coins. Then all those investors sold off. The price went from 30K down to about 27. And then now he has just been spiking afterwards as there's true demand for this. This guy's really a cheap beast. Like you look at these stats and if you want to try out this Timber SBC that you probably went and did for like next to nothing yesterday, um, that's kind of a card that you might need to link to him to get your team in, in full chemistry. So that's why that Graven Birch card is nearing extinction. He's actually almost extinct at 40,000 coins right now, which is what I predicted he would go extinct, which I think he is gonna get there. I predicted that on the stream yesterday and he's getting very, very close. He's actually right there on Xbox, almost extinct at 40,000 coins, which is crazy. But also what you have on this market is, since the, like, the content is just the upgrade packs um, and that one Timber SBC, and this market, again, as we've mentioned multiple times the past couple days, it just has a lot of coins, right? Right now, if you wanna make coins right now, it is a, there, there's really not a better time to flip cards and to make coins on quick flips. Oh, Cannavaro down to 1.36 again. All right, Cannavaro is getting a little bit cheap. I sold Cannavaro at 1.48 yesterday. It's just, especially if you wanna trade with these icon moments, these cards fluctuate so much in value because they're still brand new. They're very rare. People wanna try them out. They have dynamic images, they have stat boosts. Some of them have weak foot and skill move upgrades, right? So that's all those things you have to factor in to a few of these items. Now, it is very risky. And if you don't want to risk it with the icon moments, you can do out of pack special cards, right? Um, Fabinho right here at 350,000 coins. 
He was 383.90 yesterday. 349, I'm going to pick that up. Striker position change as well. That's a card that I know. I can sell this for probably 370 to 380, which would net me about 10 to 15,000 coins uh, of profit after tax. Again, it's just there's cards that are really rare that are out of packs right now, like this Verts. I bought a Florian Verts literally five minutes before starting to record this video for 420,000 coins. And I'm pretty sure he was like 450. Yesterday at one point, what is he right now on the market? Uh, let's go 450 and see where he's at. What's his cheapest on the 454? Bang. So I can go and list this up right now. He's got one card. Okay, he's got some cards at 470 and he's got this 454. So I'm going to go on my transfer list and list my Florian Verts up right now because he has started to go up in price. So boom, I'm going to list this up for like four. Let's go 460. Let's go 460, right? That's a solid 40,000 coin rise on the card. Striker precision change. And so after tax, that's going to net me about like 17K or something like that, right? Not bad, right? That's pretty good profit. I'm going to even list this Fabinho right now for, let's go 387. 387 from 350 to 387. That's a decent little flip in there as well. These out of packs cards and these icons are fluctuating so much. They are so, so, so good to trade with right now on this market. Um, just because they're out of packs, right? And this coin does, this market does have a lot of coins from everybody that opened packs this past weekend. There are a lot of coins that are on this market. So that's why I would say right now is such a great time to trade. And that's, that enabled me and a lot of other people yesterday on the market to make so many coins because the flipping is just so good at this stage of the game right now. It was actually crazy. Like everything yesterday was just falling into place perfectly. I'm, I'm looking at this Cannavaro again, because I know Cannavaro is one of the most hyped icon moments cards that has been released in the past few days. If I can, how many cards do we have here to like 1.4 high 1.5? All right. We've got a few. We have some overnights at one, four, four, five. That's a first owner fresh. That's a trader right there trying to sell for one, four, seven. I mean, okay, there's an open bid on that one right there. I'm going to keep an eye on that Cannavaro. So since I see a couple undercuts here, I'm probably going to wait. But I really think that I could sell that Cannavaro at like 1.47 or 1.48 overnight. Uh, so I'm going to wait and just to see where that one on open bid goes and see if there's any more listings to get a potential cheaper price. But that's the fun and, you know, the risk as well with, with some of these cards when you're flipping them. Uh, I'm now I'm probably going to sell my icon moments that I have today before we have the UEFA marquee matchups released. You're like, Nate, people are going to pack icons from, you know, UEFA marquee matchups where that you might get like a 25 or a 35 K pack. Yeah. Crazy, crazily enough, you will see fresh icon moments popping up on the market today. So if you're somebody who likes to trade with these cards, you're going to have opportunities and windows to do just that, uh, today on the game. As well. Now, last thing I want to talk about in this video is a very interesting market movement that we saw yesterday. We are seeing panic selling on Messi's special cards. Messi's team of the year was down at two point under two point five million yesterday, uh, and there's some reasoning behind this. And we talked about it a little bit on the live stream. Even you take a look at this card right now, and he's down a lot in the past couple of days. Messi right now is two point under two point six mil. But look at his price, right? Since basically this last week, he's been dropping off a ton, especially in the past two days. Sunday, he was 2.7 still, right? People, and especially Messi's informed as well. Take a look at this. 7.33 is what this Messi was. He was, get this, 6.50 yesterday. There was a ton of panic selling on the Messi out-of-pack special cards because there is a very well-known leaker, Arcade Foot, and some other guys that have been putting this Messi foot birthday card in their predictions now this is a team two prediction some of these cards were leaked earlier like again we i think we might have even looked at this in yesterday's video dibala and firmino and silas um were in that prediction but this messi is also included in the prediction this is not a leak right right now messi is not leaked to be in team two but it also seems a little bit fishy that they're putting this messi card in these leaks for team to a foot birthday so that is what is causing this messy card to drop right now in price here's what i would tell you to do if you have one of these items and you're a bit worried um i think that especially for this inform right man yesterday this card at like 650k was an incredible pickup in price because now he is back up almost a hundred thousand coins from where he was after that panic selling kind of you know ended and this card just bounced back up naturally after the panic seller stopped 
just be just be careful and on the watch and maybe keep an eye out for some more leaks, I guess, uh, later on this week. I would be surprised if they did put a Messi into the promo team right after they did a Ronaldo. Uh, but it has been done before. In FIFA 20 for shapeshifters, they dropped a position change uh, and, a, and a skill move weak foot boost Ronaldo. Uh, and the week after that, they did a position change shapeshifter Messi. So they have done this stuff before. But it just seemed it it be it would surprise me big time if they dropped a foot birthday messy. But who knows? Who knows? So we will see later on this week. We'll probably get some more leaks, more conversation about that on this game. But I just had to point that out because that's where a lot of market movement happened yesterday. And if you guys saw that and you're like, what in the world's going on? That is why that part of the market was moving. So today on Tuesday, we have we have road to the final games in action today, right? Potential upgrades on the line as well. You guys know this Champions League games. Uh, we have got Mane from Liverpool, Alexis Sanchez, and even though they're down bad at the moment and not looking very likely to get upgraded. And then also our other game today, why am I forgetting what our other game today is? It's the, oh, Bayern and Red Bull Salzburg. So Mane and Taliso are cards today that are potentially getting plus two upgrades if their team wins today, if Bayern win, they would also go through to the next round. And this Taliso is flying 220. This Taliso keeps rising because he might be a 90 rated card by the end of this week uh, with a potential plus two coming for his item. Same thing for Mane. He might be getting a plus two if Liverpool win the game today. And they would, of course, advance at the same time. This Mane would be going up from a 92 to a 94. Wow, he's 1.86 mil, so he's up a lot in price as well. So those are the two cards that are potentially upgrading today. Now, if Inter were to win 1-0, instead uh, of Liverpool and Mane getting a plus two, Mane would get a plus one for Liverpool advancing into the next round, and uh, Alexis Sanchez would get a plus one for them winning the actual game. So that's the only kind of tricky scenario from today's games. But those road to the finals are going to be cards to watch on the market today as well. Good luck trading if you're out there flipping cards. Again, yesterday was such a crazy day, flipping a lot of these cards. It was so much fun, and it's so much fun when you're making profits, but there's days where there's, there's, there's bad days too. So we're gonna take these fun days and enjoy them and keep making the coins as we can. So if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments, of course. We talked about a ton of different stuff today, so let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. But Otherwise, thanks for watching the video today. If you did enjoy, smash, the, smash a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.